Arsenal FC from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Arsenal Football Club, also known as Arsenal, the Arsenal, or the Gunners, are an English professional football club based in Holloway, North London. They play in the Premier League and are one of the most successful clubs in English football. Arsenal have won 13 First Division and Premier League titles, 10 FA Cups, and in 2005-2006 became the first London club to reach the UEFA Champions League final. Arsenal are also members of the G14 group of leading European football clubs. Arsenal were founded in 1886 in Woolwich, South East London, but in 1913 they moved north across the city to Arsenal Stadium, Highbury. In May 2006 they left Highbury, moving to their current home, the Emirates Stadium, in nearby Ashburton Grove, Holloway. Arsenal have a long-standing and fierce rivalry with neighbours Tottenham Hotspur, located four miles away in Tottenham, with whom they have contested the North London Derby almost every season since 1913. Section 1. History For more details on this topic, see the articles entitled History of Arsenal FC 1886-1966 and History of Arsenal FC 1966-present. Arsenal were founded as Dial Square in 1886 by workers at the Royal Arsenal in Woolwich, but were renamed Royal Arsenal shortly afterwards. They renamed themselves again to Woolwich Arsenal after turning professional in 1891. The club joined the Football League in 1893, starting out in the second division, and won promotion to the first division in 1904. However, the club's geographic isolation resulted in lower attendances than those of other clubs, which led to the club becoming mired in financial problems and effectively bankrupt by 1910. In 1913, soon after relegation back to the second division, they moved across the Thames to the new Arsenal Stadium in Highbury, North London. They dropped Woolwich from their name the following year. Arsenal only finished in fifth place in 1919, but nevertheless were elected to rejoin the First Division at the expense of local rivals Tottenham Hotspur by reportedly dubious means. In 1925, Arsenal appointed the highly successful Herbert Chapman as manager. Chapman had won the league with Huddersfield Town in 1923-24 and 1924-25, and he brought Arsenal their first period of major success. His revolutionary tactics and training along with the signings of star players such as Alex James and Cliff Bastin, laid the foundations of the club's domination of English football in the 1930s. Between 1930 and 1938, Arsenal won the First Division five times and the FA Cup twice, although Chapman did not live to see all of these achievements, as he died of pneumonia in 1934. George Allison succeeded him. In addition, Chapman was reportedly behind the 1932 renaming of the local London Underground station from Gillespie Road to Arsenal, making it the only tube station to be named specifically after a football club. Following the suspension of English professional football during World War II, under Tom Whitaker, Arsenal won the league in 1947-48 and 1952-53 and the FA Cup in 1949-50. However, after that, their fortunes waned. Unable to attract players of the same calibre as they had in the 1930s, the club spent most of the 1950s and 1960s in trophyless mediocrity. Even former England captain Billy Wright could not bring the club any success as a manager in a stint between 1962 and 1966. Arsenal's second successful era began with the surprise appointment of club physiotherapist Bertie Mee as manager in 1966. After losing two League Cup finals, they won the Intercities Fairs Cup, their first European trophy, in 1969-70. This was followed by an even greater triumph, their first League and FA Cup double in 1970-71. However, the double winning side was soon broken up, and the following decade was characterised by a series of near misses. Arsenal finished as first division runners-up in 1972-73, lost three FA Cup finals, 1971-72, 1977-78 and 1979-80, and lost the 1979-80 Cup Winners' Cup final on penalties. The club's only success during this time was an FA Cup win in 1978-79, with a last-minute 3-2 victory over Manchester United that is widely regarded as a classic. 
The return of former player George Graham as manager in 1986 brought a third period of glory. Arsenal won the League Cup in 1986-87, Graham's first season in charge. This was followed by a league title win in 1988-89, won with a last-minute goal in the final game of the season against fellow title challengers Liverpool. Graham's Arsenal won another title in 1990-91, losing only one match, the FA Cup and League Cup double in 1992-93, and a second European trophy, the Cup Winners' Cup, in 1993-94. However, Graham's reputation was tarnished when it was revealed that he had taken kickbacks from agent Runa Hauger for signing certain players, and he was sacked in 1995. His replacement, Bruce Rioch, lasted for only one season, leaving the club after a dispute with the board of directors. The club's success in the late 1990s and 2000s owes a great deal to the appointment of manager Arsene Wenger in 1996. Wenger brought new tactics, a new training regime, and several foreign players who complemented the existing English talent. Arsenal won a second League and Cup double in 1997-98, and a third in 2001-2002. In addition, the club reached the final of the 1999-2000 UEFA Cup, losing on penalties to Galatasaray, were victorious in the 2002-2003 and 2004-2005 FA Cups, and won the Premier League in 2003-2004 without losing a single match, which earned the side the nickname the Invincibles. In all, the club went 49 league matches unbeaten, a national record. Arsenal have finished in either first or second place in the league in eight of Wenger's ten seasons at the club. They are one of only four teams, along with Manchester United, Blackburn Rovers and Chelsea, to have won the Premier League since its formation in 1993 although they have failed to retain the title each time they have been champions. Until recently, Arsenal had never progressed beyond the Champions League quarter-finals. In 2005-2006, however, they reached the competition's final, the first club from London to do so in the competition's 50-year history, but were beaten 2-1 by FC Barcelona. Section 2. Crest Royal Arsenal's first crest, unveiled in 1888, featured three cannon viewed from above, pointing northwards, similar to the crest of the borough of Woolwich. These can sometimes be mistaken for chimneys, but the presence of a carved lion's head and a cascabel on each are clear indicators that they are cannon. This was dropped after they moved to Highbury in 1913, but in 1922 the club adopted their first single cannon crest, featuring an eastward pointing cannon, with the club's nickname, the Gunners, inscribed alongside it. This crest only lasted until 1925, when the cannon was reversed to point westward and its barrel slimmed down. In 1949, the club unveiled a modernised crest featuring the same style of cannon, the club's name set in black letter above the cannon, and a scroll inscribed with the club's newly adopted Latin motto, Victoria Concordia Crescit, meaning victory comes from harmony, coined by Harry Homer, the club's programme editor. For the first time, the crest was rendered in colour, which varied slightly over the crest's lifespan, finally becoming red, gold and green. Because of the numerous revisions of the crest, Arsenal were unable to copyright it. Although the club had managed to register the crest as a trademark, and had fought and eventually won a long legal battle with a local street trader who sold unofficial Arsenal merchandise, Arsenal sought a more comprehensive legal protection. Therefore, in 2002, they introduced a new crest featuring more modern curved lines and a simplified style, which was copyrightable. The cannon once again faces east, and the club's name is written in a sans-serif typeface above the cannon. Green was replaced by dark blue. The new crest received a critical response from some supporters. The Arsenal Independent Supporters Association claimed that the club had ignored much of Arsenal's history and tradition with such a radical modern design, and that fans had not been properly consulted on the issue. Section 3. Colours For much of Arsenal's history, their home colours have been bright red shirts with white sleeves and white shorts, though this has not always been the case. The choice of red is in recognition of a charitable donation from Nottingham Forest, soon after Arsenal's foundation in 1886. Two of Dial Square's founding members, Fred Beardsley and Morris Bates were former Forest players who had moved to Woolwich for work. As they put together the first team in the area, no kit could be found, 
so Beardsley and Bates wrote home for help and received a set of kit and a ball. The shirt was red current, a dark shade of red similar to burgundy, and was worn with white shorts and blue socks. In 1933, Herbert Chapman, wanting his players to be more distinctly dressed, updated the kit, adding white sleeves and changing the shade to a brighter pillar box red. The origin of the white sleeves is not conclusively known, but two possible inspirations have been put forward. One story reports that Chapman noticed a supporter in the stands wearing a red sleeveless sweater over a white shirt. Another was that he was inspired by a similar outfit worn by famous cartoonist Tom Webster, with whom Chapman played golf. Regardless of which story is true, the red and white shirts have come to define Arsenal, and the team have worn the combination ever since, aside from two seasons. The first was 1966-1967, when Arsenal wore all red shirts. This proved unpopular, and the white sleeves returned the following season. The second was 2005-2006, the last season that Arsenal played at Highbury, when the team wore one-year commemorative red current shirts similar to those worn in 1913, their first season in the stadium. The club reverted to their traditional colours at the start of the 2006-2007 season. Arsenal's home colours have been the inspiration for at least three other clubs. In 1909, Sparta Prague adopted a dark red kit like the one Arsenal wore at the time. In 1938, Hibernian adopted the design of the Arsenal shirt sleeves in their own green and white strip. In the 1930s, Sporting Clube de Braga's coach returned from a game at Highbury and changed his team's green kit into a duplicate of Arsenal's red with white sleeves and shorts giving rise to the team's nickname of Os Arsenalistas. These teams still wear these designs to this day. Arsenal's away colours are traditionally yellow and blue, although they wore a green and navy away kit between 1982 and 1984. Since the early 1990s and the advent of the lucrative replica kit market, the away colours have been changed regularly. The general rule currently is that they are changed every season, with the outgoing away kit becoming the third choice kit for the following season. Generally, the away colours in this period have been either two-toned blue designs, or variations on the traditional yellow and blue, such as the metallic gold and navy strip used in the 2001-2002 season. The away colours for 2005-2006 and 2006-2007 are yellow and dark grey. This is an exception to the one-season rule, to compensate for the short lifetime of the 2005-2006 red current commemorative home kit. Arsenal's shirts have been sponsored since 1982, when the club agreed a deal with JVC, which lasted until 1999. Since then, the club shirts have advertised Sega Dreamcast, 1999-2002, O2, 2002-2006, and current sponsors Emirates from 2006 until at least 2014. The shirts themselves have been manufactured by Nike since 1994. Before that, Umbro until 1986 and Adidas 1986-1994 were responsible for clothing the team. Section 4. Stadiums For the majority of their time in South East London, Arsenal played at the Manor Ground in Plumstead, a three-year period at the nearby Invicta ground between 1890 and 1893 accepted. The manor ground was initially just a field, but the club installed stands and terracing in time for their first football league match in September 1893. They played there for the next 20 years, until the move to North London in 1913. Arsenal Stadium, widely referred to as Highbury, was Arsenal's home from September 1913 until May 2006. The original stadium was designed by the renowned football architect Archibald Leach, and had a design common to many football grounds in the UK at the time, with a single covered stand and three open-air banks of terracing. In the 1930s, the entire stadium was given a massive overhaul, with new Art Deco east and west stands constructed, and roofs added to the north bank and clock end terraces. At its peak, Highbury could hold over 60,000 spectators, and had a capacity of 57,000 until the early 1990s. The Taylor Report and Premier League regulations forced Arsenal to convert Highbury into an all-seater in time for the 1993-94 season, reducing the capacity to 38,419 seated spectators. This capacity had to be reduced further during Champions League matches to accommodate additional advertising hoardings, 
so much so that for two seasons, 1998-1999 and 1999-2000, Arsenal played Champions League home matches at Wembley, which could house more than 70,000 spectators. Expansion of Highbury was restricted because the East Stand had been designated as a Grade 2 listed building, and the other three stands were close to residential properties whose owners objected to expansion. These limitations have prevented the club from maximising the revenue that their domestic form could have brought in recent seasons. After considering various options, Arsenal decided in 1999 to build a new 60,000-seater stadium at Ashburton Grove, since renamed the Emirates Stadium, about 500 metres southwest of Highbury. The project was initially delayed by red tape and rising costs, but construction was completed in July 2006, in time for the start of the 2006-2007 season. The stadium is named after its sponsors, the airline company Emirates, with whom the club signed the largest sponsorship deal in English football history, worth approximately £100 million. However, some fans refer to the ground as Ashburton Grove, or The Grove, as they do not agree with corporate sponsorship of stadium names. The stadium will officially be known as Emirates Stadium until at least 2012, and the airline will be the club's shirt sponsor until the end of the 2013-2014 season. Section 5. Supporters Arsenal have a large and generally loyal fan base, with virtually all home matches selling out. In 2005-2006, Arsenal had the sixth highest average attendance for an English club, 38,184, which was 99.4% of available capacity, and the fourth highest all-time average attendance. Arsenal fans often refer to themselves as Gooners, the name being derived from the team's nickname, the Gunners. The club's location, adjoining both wealthy areas such as Canonbury and Barnsbury, mixed areas such as Islington, Holloway and Highbury, and largely working-class areas such as Finsbury Park and Stoke Newington, has meant that Arsenal's supporters have come from across the usual class divides. Additionally, Arsenal have the highest proportion, 7.7%, of non-white attending supporters of any club in English football, according to a 2002 report. Like all major English football clubs, Arsenal have a number of domestic supporters clubs, including the official Arsenal Football Supporters Club, which is affiliated with the club, and the Arsenal Independent Supporters Association, which maintains an independent line. The club's supporters also publish fanzines such as The Gooner, Highbury High, Gunflash and the less cerebral Up the Arse. In addition to the usual English football chants, Arsenal's supporters sing 1-0 to the Arsenal to the tune of Go West and Boring Boring Arsenal, which used to be a common taunt from opposition fans but is now sung ironically by Arsenal supporters when the team is playing well. In recent times, a supporter's attachment to a football club has become less dependent on geography, and Arsenal now have many fans not just from London, but all over England and the world. While there have always been small pockets of supporters abroad, Arsenal's support base has widened considerably with the advent of satellite television, and there are now significant supporters clubs worldwide. A 2005 report by Granada Ventures, which at the time owned a 9.9% stake in the club, estimated Arsenal's global fan base at 27 million, the third largest in the world. Arsenal's longest running and deepest rivalry is with their nearest major neighbours, Tottenham Hotspur, with matches between the two being referred to as North London derbies. Matches against other London sides, such as Chelsea and West Ham United, are also derbies, but the rivalry is not as intense as that between Arsenal and Tottenham. In addition, Arsenal and Manchester United have had a strong on-pitch rivalry since the late 1980s, which has intensified in recent years, when both clubs have been competing for the Premier League title. Section 6. Ownership Arsenal's parent company, Arsenal Holdings PLC, operates as a non-quoted public limited company. Arsenal's ownership is considerably different from that of other football clubs. Only 62,219 shares in Arsenal have been issued, and they are not traded on a public exchange, such as the FTSE or the AIM, the Alternative Investment Market. Instead, they are traded infrequently on PLUS, a specialist market. As of the 27th of March 2007, Arsenal's market capitalisation value is £415.3 million, 
and the club made a pre-tax profit of £15.9 million in the year ending 31st of May 2006. Arsenal's board of directors hold the majority of the club's shares, controlling just over 60% of share capital. Currently, the club's largest shareholders are Danny Fisman, a London diamond dealer, and Nina Bracewell-Smith, wife of the grandson of former chairman Sir Bracewell-Smith, who hold 24.1% and 15.9% respectively. Vice Chairman David Dean holds 14.6% and fellow director Richard Carr has 4.4%, while club chairman Peter Hill Wood owns less than 1%. In recent years, with other major English clubs such as Chelsea, Liverpool and Manchester United all having been taken over by foreign investors, Arsenal have been identified as a target for a buyout. The American sports tycoon Stan Kroenke currently owns or controls 11.26% of shares in the club, the bulk of which he bought from Granada Ventures, a subsidiary of ITV PLC, in April 2007. Previously, in September 2006, an unknown investor had bought 713 shares, 1.15% of the club, and in March 2007, another unknown investor bought 659 1.06%, leading to press speculation that these purchases may have been made by or on behalf of Kronka as part of a bid to take over the club entirely. Section 7. Arsenal in popular culture. As one of the most successful teams in the country, Arsenal have often featured when football is depicted in British culture, and have appeared in a number of media firsts. On the 22nd of January 1927, their match at Highbury against Sheffield United was the first English league match to be broadcast live on radio. A decade later, on the 16th of September 1937, an exhibition match between Arsenal's first team and the reserves was the first ever football match to be televised live. Arsenal also featured in the first edition of the BBC's Match of the Day, which screened highlights of their match against Liverpool at Anfield on the 22nd of August 1964. Arsenal also formed the backdrop to one of the earliest football-related films, The Arsenal Stadium Mystery, 1939. The film is centred on a friendly match between Arsenal and an amateur side, one of whose players is poisoned whilst playing. Many Arsenal players appeared as themselves, although only manager George Allison was given a speaking part. More recently, the book Fever Pitch by Nick Hornby was an autobiographical account of Hornby's life and relationship with football, and Arsenal in particular. Published in 1992, it formed part of, and may have played an active part in, the revival and rehabilitation of football in British society during the 1990s. The book was later made into a film starring Colin Firth, which centred on the club's 1988-89 title win. The book also inspired an American film adaptation, about a fan of Major League Baseball's Boston Red Sox. Arsenal have often been stereotyped as a defensive and boring side, especially during the 1970s and 1980s. Many comedians, such as Eric Morecambe, made jokes about this at the team's expense. The theme was repeated in the 1997 film The Full Monty, in a scene where the lead actors move in a line and raise their hands, deliberately mimicking the Arsenal defence's offside trap in an attempt to coordinate their stripping. Another film reference to the club's defence comes in the film Plunkett and McLean, in which there are two characters named Dixon and Winterburn, named after Arsenal's long-serving fullbacks, the right-sided Lee Dixon and the left-sided Nigel Winterburn. The club have also been mentioned in several Monty Python's Flying Circus sketches, and in Douglas Adams' The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where a barman remarks that the impending end of the world is a lucky escape for Arsenal. Additionally, in the 2004 film Ocean's Twelve, the main characters don Arsenal tracksuits as a disguise in order to escape from a hotel during one of their European heists. Arsenal have featured in popular music as well. Joe Strummer wrote the song Tony Adams, dedicated to the then Arsenal captain, which appeared on his 1999 album Rock Art and the X-Ray Style. Strummer was also known to wear an Arsenal scarf during gigs, despite himself being a Chelsea fan. Additionally, Arsenal, along with arch-rivals Tottenham Hotspur, receive a mention in the Pogues song Billy's Bones, which appears on the band's second album, Rum, Sodomy and the Lash. Section 8. Arsenal Ladies. For more details on this topic, see the article entitled Arsenal LFC. 
Arsenal Ladies are the women's football club affiliated to Arsenal. Founded in 1987, they turned semi-professional in 2002 and are the most successful team in English women's football today. They are managed by Vic Akers, who is also kit manager for the men's side, and play in the FA Women's Premier League. Arsenal Ladies are currently reigning champions, having won their eighth title in 2006. They also won the FA Women's Cup seven times, the Women's League Cup eight times, and in 2006-2007 reached the final of the UEFA Women's Cup, the furthest any English women's club has ever got. While the men's and women's clubs are formally separate, they have quite close ties. Arsenal Vice-Chairman David Dean is President of Arsenal Ladies, and they are entitled to play once a season at the Emirates Stadium. They usually play their home matches at Boreham Wood. Section 9. Statistics and Records For more details on this topic, see the article entitled Arsenal FC Records. David O'Leary holds the record for Arsenal appearances, having played 722 first-team matches between 1975 and 1993. Fellow centre-half and former captain Tony Adams comes second, having played 669 times. The record for a goalkeeper is held by David Seaman, with 563 appearances. Current Arsenal captain Thierry Henry is the club's top goalscorer, with 225 goals in all competitions, as of the 29th of January 2007, having surpassed Ian Wright's total of 185 in October 2005. Wright's record had stood since 1997, a feat which overtook the long-standing total of 178 goals set by winger Cliff Bastin in 1939. Henri also holds the club record for goals scored in the league, 173 as of 29th of January 2007, a record that had been held by Bastin until February 2006. Arsenal's record home attendance is 73,707 for a UEFA Champions League match against RC Lens on the 25th of November 1998 at Wembley Stadium, where Arsenal formally played home European matches because of the limits on Highbury's capacity. The record attendance for an Arsenal match at Highbury is 73,295 for a 0-0 draw against Sunderland on the 9th of March 1935. The capacity of Emirates Stadium is 60,432, so it is unlikely that these records will be broken in the foreseeable future. Arsenal have also set records in English football, most notably the most consecutive seasons spent in the top flight, 80 as of 2006-2007, and the longest run of unbeaten league matches, 49 between May 2003 and October 2004. This included all 38 matches of their title-winning 2003-2004 season, making Arsenal only the second club ever to finish a top-flight campaign unbeaten, after Preston North End, who played only 22 matches, in 1888-1889. Arsenal also set a UEFA Champions League record during the 2005-2006 season by going 10 matches without conceding a goal, beating the previous best of seven set by AC Milan. They went a record total stretch of 995 minutes without letting an opponent score. The streak finally ended in the final against Barcelona, when Samuel Eto'o scored Barcelona's equaliser in the 76th minute. Section 10. Players. Current squad. As of 13th of March 2007. Squad number 1. Player. Jens Lehmann. Position. Goalkeeper. Country of origin, Germany. Number two, Abu Dhabi, midfielder, France. Number four, Cesc Fabregas, midfielder, Spain. Number five, Colo Touré, defender, Cote d'Ivoire. Number six, Philippe Senderos, defender, Switzerland. Number seven, Tomasz Rzycki, midfielder, Czech Republic. Number eight, Frederick Ljungberg, midfielder, Sweden. Number nine, Julio Baptista, on loan from Real Madrid, midfielder, Brazil. Number ten, William Gallas, defender, France. Number eleven, Robin van Persie. Forward, Netherlands. Number 13, 
Alexander Hleb, midfielder, Belarus. Number 14, Thierry Henry, captain, forward, France. Number 15, Denilson, midfielder, Brazil. Number 16, Mathieu Flamini, midfielder, France. Number 19, Gilberto Silva, midfielder, Brazil. Number 20, Johan Juru, defender, Switzerland. Number 21, Mart Pohm, goalkeeper, Estonia. Number 22, Gael Clichy, defender, France. Number 24, Manuel Almunia, goalkeeper, Spain. Number 25, Emmanuel Adebayor, forward, Togo. Number 27, Emmanuel Ebue, defender, Cote d'Ivoire. Number 30, Jeremy Aliadier, forward, France. Number 31, Justin Hoyt, defender, England. Number 32, Theo Walcott, forward, England. Number 33, Matthew Connolly, defender, England. Number 43, Mark Randall, midfielder, England. Number 45, Armand Traore, defender, France. Players out on loan. Number 17. Alexandra Song. Midfielder. Cameroon. At Charlton Athletic until May 2007. Number 38. Kerry Gilbert. Defender. England. At Cardiff City until May 2007. Number 41. Joe O'Carroll. Defender. Republic of Ireland at Brighton and Hove Albion until April 2007. No squad number. Niklas Bentner. Forward. Denmark. At Birmingham City until May 2007. No squad number. Arturo Lupoli. Forward. Italy. At Derby County until May 2007. No squad number. Fabrice Muamba, midfielder, England, at Birmingham City until May 2007. No squad number. Jose Antonio Reyes, forward, Spain, at Real Madrid until August 2007. No squad number. Carlos Vela, forward, Mexico at Salamanca until May 2007. Reserves. See the article entitled Arsenal FC Reserves. Notable players. For more details on this topic, see the article entitled List of Arsenal FC Players. Section 11. Managers. Statistics are given as of 31st of March 2007 and only competitive matches are counted. Name, Sam Hollis. Country of origin, England. From, August 1894 to, July 1897. Matches played, 95. Matches won, 43. Matches drawn, 14. Matches lost, 38. Goals for, 213. Goals against, 181. Thomas Mitchell, Scotland. August 1897 to March 1898. Played 26, won 14, drawn 4, lost 8. Goals for 66, goals against 46. George Elcote, England, March 1898 to May 1899. Played 43, won 23, drawn 6, lost 14. Goals for 92. Goals against, 55. Harry Bradshaw, 
England, August 1899 to May 1904. Played 189, won 96, drawn 39, lost 54, goals for 329, goals against 173. Phil Kelso, Scotland, July 1904 to February 1908. Played 151, won 63, drawn 31, lost 57. Goals for 225. Goals against 228. George Morell, Scotland, February 1908 to May 1915. Played 294. Won 104. Drawn 73. Lost 117. Goals for 365. Goals against 412. Leslie Knighton, England. May 1919 to June 1925. Played 267. Won 92. Drawn 62. Lost 114. Goals for 330. Goals against 380. Herbert Chapman, England. June 1925 to 6th of January 1934. Played 403. Won 201, drawn 97, lost 105. Goals for 864, goals against 8, 598. Joe Shaw, England, acting as caretaker manager, 6th of January 1934 to June 1934. Played 23, won 14, drawn 3, lost 6. Goals for 44. Goals against 29. George Allison, England. June 1934 to June 1947. Played 283. Won 131. Drawn 75. Lost 77. Goals for 543. Goals against 333. Tom Whitaker, England. June 1947 to 24th of October 1956. Played 428. Won 202. Drawn 106. Lost 120. Goals for 797. Goals against 566. Jack Crayston, England. 24th of October 1956 to May 1958. Played 77. Won 33, drawn 16, lost 28, goals for 142, goals against 142. George Swindon, England, 21st of June 1958 to May 1962, played 179, won 70, drawn 43, lost 66, goals for 320. Goals against 320. Billy Wright, England, May 1962 to June 1966. Played 182. Won 70. Drawn 43. Lost 69. Goals for 336. Goals against 330. Bertie Mee, June 1966 to 4th of May 1976. Played 539, won 241, drawn 148, lost 150, goals for 739, goals against 542. Terry Neal, Northern Ireland, 9th of July 1976 to 16th of December 1983. Played 414, won 187, drawn 117. Lost 112. Goals for 601. Goals against 446. Don Howe. England. 16th of December 1983 to 22nd of March 1986. Played 116. Won 56. Drawn 32. Lost 31. 
Goals for, 187. Goals against, 142. Steve Burtonshaw, England, acted as caretaker manager, 23rd of March 1986 to 14th of May 1986. Played, 11. Won, 3. Drawn, 2. Lost, 6. Goals for, 7. Goals against, 15. George Graham, Scotland, 14th of May 1986 to 21st of February 1995. Played, 460. Won, 225. Drawn, 133. Lost, 102. Goals for, 711. Goals against, 403. Stuart Houston, Scotland, acted as caretaker manager. 21st of February 1995 to 15th of June 1995. Played, 19. Won, 7. Drawn, 3. Lost, 9. Goals for, 29. Goals against, 25. Bruce Rioch, Scotland. 15th of June 1995 to 12th of August 1996. Played, 47. Won, 22. Drawn, 15. Lost, 10. Goals for, 67. Goals against, 37. Stuart Houston, Scotland. Acting as caretaker manager, second spell. 12th of August 1996 to 15th of September 1996. Played, 6. Won, 2. Drawn, 2. Lost, 2. Goals for, 11. Goals against, 10. Pat Rice, Northern Ireland, acting as caretaker manager, 16th of September 1996 to 30th of September 1996. Played, 4. Won, 3. Drawn, none. Lost, 1. Goals for, 10. Goals against, 4. Arsène Wenger, France, 1st of October 1996 to present. Played, 607. Won, 347. Drawn, 150. Lost, 110. Goals for, 1092. Goals against, 553. Section 12. Honours. For more details on this topic, see the article entitled Arsenal FC Seasons. First Division and Premier League titles, 13. 1930-31. 1932 1932-34, 1934-35, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-38, 1937-
having finished below 14 only seven times. Arsenal also have the highest average league finishing position for the period 1900 to 1999, with an average league placing of 8.5. In addition, they are one of only five clubs to have won the FA Cup twice in succession, in 2002 and 2003. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU free documentation license, available at www.gnu.org forward slash copyleft forward slash fdl.html.